<laughs> Welcome back to another video, guys. Hi, hello, how are you? How are you, how are you, how are you? Anyway, guys, I just wanted to make this really quick, fast video. I got some questions for the first time in forever. So we're gonna do this little quick Q&A or whatever. It's only 10 questions, y'all. If y'all ever have any questions, y'all can put them in the comments or whatever. You can go on my Instagram and ask me questions. You can go on my Twitter and ask me questions. All of that is in the description below. Just tap on the description and then my Instagram will pop up, my Twitter will pop up, and my Snap will pop up too. Period. Anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, the doors of the keeper are now open. Hashtag Q&A edition. So you know I'm a little slow in the head. So I have to write down the questions. I have to write down the questions. So we're gonna get through these questions and we're gonna see what T is. Period. Okay. Number one. Which one of your personality traits have been the most useful? <clears throat> Now, with this question, it's like, I got a lot of useful personality traits. Like, I'm just like a really bright, all in your face kind of, you know, person. So, most definitely though, the one that like, that like, that helped me the most is like my charm. My charm has been working and like it like it, it like i don't i don't think it ever stops working like i literally get like free stuff just because i like look at people and smile and it's ridiculous and it just works and that, that that's just it like i'm like yeah um i, I i'm like if i go to the store and i'm and I'm, and I'm like don't have enough money for something it's weird because i'm like yeah i don't want that take that out but then the person's all like no and then they like put it back and then they like it's okay and i'm like that that was three dollars that was three dollars you just put it back like that's a bop <laughs> like it's, it's just ridiculous so i guess my charm and like my bright personality is most definitely something that people like to see that that works a lot obviously i guess i guess i use it the most on accident it's one of those passive abilities it's just like a passive move i guess ooh, ooh it's a bop <laughs> anyway number two if your house is on fire your family and money are saved. What are you dashing in to get? <laughs> Gee, I don't even know. I don't even know. So if my, my family is safe. So that means my dog and every member of my family is safe. Boom. My siblings, not my siblings, duh. My money is safe. Okay, cool. So all our money safe. All my other stuff safe. But I grab my video games. What I grab my video games? I don't even know. Like, it's not even worth it to be honest. It's a fire. Like, am I gonna die if I run back in here? I don't even know what I would grab. Like, that's this is a this 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 low key a hard question. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think there's anything for me to grab. If like I'm running back, like why would I even go back? I'm trying to make sure my family is good first, and maybe in the process of making sure my family is good, I'm grabbing my game. Like, I'm like, oh. Crack, crack, crackle, it's a fire. What am I doing? Unplugging my PlayStation and wrapping it up. It's the first thing I'm doing. They're gonna be like, did you really bring that? Look, did you want to pay for another one? I think not. <laughs> exactly. So like, I got child out and I got this game out. We are A-OK, -okay, period. I mean, I'm a most definitely already have my phone with me because I wake up next to my phone anyway. So if I hit some fire crackling and then I boom, wake up next to my phone. Um, Okay, cool, phone clothes i got clothes in my room i got clothes upstairs just in case something like this does happen i'll be like i'm up and i'm out and i'm gone like that's it so i i guess i guess that's about it this is weird it's weird number three what do you miss most about being a kid i think mostly of what i miss about being a kid is most definitely like the candy the candy was good. The candy was good. The TV shows were good. I don't know. It, it just felt different back then. The candy was most definitely about like the candy cigarettes, like candy chalk candy cigarettes. Those were a bop. I love those. Like those were most definitely delicious. And I, 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 I don't know. I just missed candy. I, I, I just missed candy. Candy is good. I missed the TV. The TV was good. Like people used to be so nice to you when you were a kid. Then you grew up and then people just hate you. You're like, what happened? Did you not? Did you not like me? <laughs> like, is, is this is this how you really feel? Is this the real tea? So yeah. 
number four. If I can write one new new law that everyone has to follow, what would it be? What would be the new law that everybody would have to follow? Everybody has to tell you their true intentions off back. And I know this is going to be either good or bad or both at the same time. But we need to know, like, what's going on with this. Like, what, what, what you going to try to do? It's, it's like, it basically, it, it basically cancel out, like, bargaining and, like, bartering and low-key lying and hurting feelings for no reason. Because, like, okay, boom. You go to a car salesman. He say, I'm trying to do exactly what you do. But you already know that the car salesman is trying to sell you a car that costs more than the money that you're actually trying to spend. So he's lying to you. So if you copy it, if you, if you, if you walk up to him and he like, and you like, yeah, I want a car for this much. Like, what, what are your real intentions? He come, yeah, I'm going to try to put you in a car that you can't afford. Like, <laughs> just say it, Paul. Say it off back. Say it off back. We being honest. We being truthful. Say it off back. That's it. That's all. Say it off back. Boom. Number five. If I can live on Mars. Yeah, yeah. If we can live on Mars, would you take a one-way trip there? No. I don't want to be on Mars. On Mars? It depends. It depends on if Mars is a bop. Because I watched I watched this anime called Carol and Tuesday, and if Mars is looking like how they Mars look, then I'm cool with that. However, if Mars is like trash, then I'm like, nah, I'm a okay with Earth. <laughs> Period. This is weird. Number six. Ooh, ooh, if I had a theme song, what would it be? If I had a theme song, what would it be? This is gonna be hard, G. Cause I want something that's like, you know, low key. Actually, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Will it be like a, uh, like a video game theme song or like an anime theme song? I don't know. Mm. Actually, I got the perfect song. I have the perfect song. What is it? Who's that chick? Who's that chick? Hey, who's that? That's me. That's me. I, I'm that chick. I'm the chick that's in the song that she's talking about. It's me. I like that song. That song is a pop. Like, wham. Okay? I just spent the whole minute trying to figure out that. Trying to figure that out. This is ridiculous. Okay, okay, okay. Number seven. If you can change three things about the people in your country, what would it be? Ooh. Well, I want people to be more understanding. So that's that one thing I, I, I want. So people would be more understanding. And so it's just like, you know, if like if you going through a hard time or whatever, and then, you know, you come and talk to somebody, or they, they can like, instead of like brush you off and being a, a butt, and being a douche, they, okay, like, I understand. Maybe we can try to like help or something, but not like actually like help. Cause I don't feel like giving my money to people if, if, if that's what it is. But like, I can understand what you going through and try to offer you some assistance or try to offer you something that that's, that's gonna make you, you know, a better person. I'm just trying to make us better people in general, period. So we need more understanding. We need more under, okay. Um, of course you gotta eliminate all of the races. Like y'all just gotta go. But I guess maybe you could eliminate racists with understanding, but maybe not in the same situation. It depends. And then number three, number three, number three, number three, number three. Um, we should 
I, I guess people should just be nicer in the country. People should just be nicer. Like, cause people be doing some nonsense for no reason. Like, really, seriously. People are just butts. People need to be nicer. So, that's gonna be the tea. Understanding people, races gotta go and you gotta be nice. Period, that's it, that's all. What question is this one? Number eight. What's the fact that amazes you every time you hear it? The fact that amazes me every time I hear it is that the sea is so deep that we haven't gotten to the bottom of it yet. That's crazy. There can be anything down there. I bet there's like a Godzilla monster down there in the sea somewhere and we do not know about it. Godzilla is under the CG. Godzilla is there and we just don't, we, we just ain't find him yet. We just ain't find him yet. Gee, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna probably be a portal like Pacific Rim or something with the, with the seismic plagues music or something. I don't know. I have no idea, but I feel as if it's something down there. And the fact that we haven't been there and we've been trying to go down there is ridiculous. Like, I bet it's something down there. I bet it's something down there. <laughs> Give me my coin if there's something down there at the bottom of the ocean. It's probably huge. Cause there was a while ago where they pulled up like this giant like kraken or whatever, and I'm like, y'all pulling up giant squids and krakens or whatever, and this thing huge like what's down there that is eating? It gotta be huge if it's eating something down there, right? Therefore, something bigger than that that could be eating that, and that's the tea. Like I'm like, ooh, ooh, it's something down there, and I bet it's Godzilla. He just sitting there waiting for something to happen. Boom. Number nine, if you were to leave the country, where would you go? Well, I was though. When I first read this question, I was thinking, ooh, China. But then I'm like, nah, not right now, sis. <laughs> not right now. So then I was thinking, if I could leave the country, I'd just go to Canada. Like, to be honest, just Canada. Like, I, I, don't, I don't need much. They speak English, they speak French. It's Canada, but it's gonna be cold. But at the same time, I live in Chicago, so I'm always cold regardless. So it's okay. So most definitely Canada, cause it's not the US. And it's, it's not the US, Canada says, okay? Number 10, what's the most spontaneous thing that you've ever done? See, I'm like, I'm like a god of like spontaneous actions. <laughs> <laughs> like everything I do is low-key spontaneous everything I do is low-key random but what's the most random thing I've ever done I have no idea I think that's for somebody else to judge I mean I do a, a lot of random stuff like I talk to people randomly low-key sometimes like I do a lot of random things to be honest but maybe maybe hmm 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 actually I'm really, I'm really thinking about this. And I think the most random thing I ever did was low-key have sex with a person. Just like low-key, just randomly. So literally, I'm walking from school, G. I am, I am walking, not walking from school. Walking home from school. Not even walking home from school. I'm like walking towards the train to come home from school, G. I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. It's this dude, he like, just keep looking at me, just keep looking at me. I'm like, what is he looking at me for? So he look at me. I take off a, a, a earphone. I look at him and I'm like, what? And so he say, you trying to do something? I'm like, sure. <laughs> so like, <laughs> that was really spontaneous. Would not recommend like three out of 10, would not recommend. Being spontaneous is okay, but only, a certain, it's only in certain areas and times. I do a lot of crazy stuff, so like, <laughs> Like it, it, like, it just comes, it just goes. I do a lot of weirdness, so it's okay. <clears throat> but anyway, thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. The door to keep on now close. Give me the kisses. The one and the one and the one.